Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting question, we have x square minus 3 equal to square root of x plus 3. And a lot of students may be saying, hey mister, this is a very good question, we can easily square both sides, but this is only on the first side. Right now let's see what will happen when we square our both sides. So right now, as I told before, let's square our both sides. Let's square our left side, so as a result we have x square minus 3, we squared our left side and we square our right side, square root of x plus 3. But a lot of students forget about this and this is a very tricky moment because a lot of students forget about square root and about our left side. If you're talking about square root, this expression inside the square root need to be positive. So don't forget about this. I want to write it, I want to underline it. So we have right here that x plus 3 need to be x plus 3 need to be greater or equal than 0. And in the same way, x square minus 3 need to be positive as well, okay? Because uh, this value need to be positive if we're talking about square root. So x square minus 3 need to be positive as well. And I wanted to underline it because this is very, this is extremely important inequalities for us. We're going to uh, go to back to this inequality a little bit later. Right now, let's solve it. As a result, what do we have right here? Uh, when we squared our both sides, we have x to the fourth power, x to the fourth power minus 2 times 3 times x square. We have right here plus 9, plus 9 equal to x plus 3. And of course, right here, we need to square our, our right side. So we just squared both sides. We have this type of expression. We cancel this square root sign. Okay, right now, if we look closely, let's bring both sides, uh, let's bring this our x plus 3 to our left side. And as a result, we have x to the fourth power minus 2 times 3 times x square, okay, plus 9 minus x and minus 3 is equal to is equal to 0. Right now let's multiply this 2 times 3. I forget about it, but doesn't matter. Let's multiply it. We have x to the fourth power minus 6x square. We have plus 9 and minus 3. Let's let's don't uh, like uh, subtract it. Let's write it like that. So plus 9 minus x and minus 3. And a lot of students are confused about this. This is a very tricky moment because a lot of students think that when we squared both sides, we don't have like a complicated expression. But if you look closely, we have x to the fourth power. So how can we solve this equation? Right now I'm going to show you a really great, really great trick. So a very tricky substitution. So let t is equal to 3. Really tricky substitution. t is equal to 3. But if you look closely, the next thing, 6 is, is equal to 2t, because t equal to 3, then this 6 is equal to 2t. If you're talking about 9, 9 will be our t square, okay? We are talking about t square, because 3 square equal to 9, so 9 is our t square, and 3 is our is our t. So I hope you understand it, that I'm going to rewrite this quadratic equation in terms of t, not in terms of x, but in terms of t. So let's see what will happen right here. So as I told before, instead of these values, we're going to write 2t, t square, and, and t. Let's do the thing right now. So we have x to the fourth power minus 2tx square, 2tx square, plus t square, minus x, and minus t is equal to 0. And right now, if we look closely, in terms of t, we have t square, we have t, we have t, and we have like x to the first and minus x, doesn't matter, it will be our, it will be our coefficient. So right now, let's re reorder this equation in terms of t. So as a result, we have t square on the first position, so t square on the first position. The next we have minus 2tx square minus t, so minus 2t x square minus t. This is our second position. And in the end, we have plus x to the fourth power minus x, plus x to the fourth power and minus x minus this x equal to equal to zero. Right now, let's factor from here our t. So let's do this. So we have t square minus, right here we have, we're going to factor t and in parentheses we have 2x square plus 1, 2x square plus 1, and we have plus x to the fourth power and minus x. I hope you understand this tricky move. We are talking about a quadratic equation in terms of t. This is our t square, this is our t, and this is our, so in terms of a, b, c, this is our a right here, this is our coefficient right here, we have, this is our b, this is our coefficient a, this is our b, and this is our, our c. So right now let's solve this question in terms of in terms of t. From here, our discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac, b square minus 4ac, which is equal to b square, so this one, so 2x square plus 1, uh, we're going to square it, so 2x square 
plus 1, we're going to square it. So this over b square minus 4 times a1 and times c. c is x to the first power minus x, x to the first power minus x. Right now, let's simplify this a little bit. Let's see what will happen. So we have 2x square plus 1. We raise this to the second power. We have, we have 4x to the first power plus 4x square plus 1. And right here we have minus 4x to the fourth power. And right here we have plus 4x, plus 4x. Let's look closely what do we have right here. Minus 4x to the fourth power and 4x to the fourth power. We can easily cancel this. So as a result of a discriminant equal to 4x square plus 4x and plus 1. 4x square plus 4x and plus 1. But if you look closely, this is our school identity. Uh, this, is our, mm, this is our 2x plus 1 to the second power. This is our 2x. 2x plus 1 to the second power, okay? And right now let's find our square root of discriminant. We will need to uh, think a little bit later. So square root of discriminant equal to square root of 2x plus 1 to the second power. And in terms of algebra, a correct thing is to write absolute value of 2x plus 1, okay? We can easily cancel this, yeah, we can easily do that, but we're going to write it correctly, 2x plus 1. And uh, yeah, we have everything. We have our discriminant, we have square root of discriminants. So right now, let's find our t first and t, t second. Let's do this right now. So we have t first and t second equal to, we have minus b, plus minus square root of discriminant and all over to a. Let's do the thing right now. So we have right here minus b, minus b will be equal to minus minus b. So we have plus 2x square plus 1. So we have 2x square plus 1. The next we have plus minus. And because of this plus minus, we can easily cancel our absolute value brackets. So we can easily write it as plus minus 2x plus 1. Okay, a correct expression with absolute value, but right here we have plus minus, so doesn't matter, we can easily write it without our absolute value brackets, and times 2 times 1. Right now let's consider it uh, the first t with the plus sign and the second t with the, with the negative sign. So we have right here t first with the plus sign equal to, let's do this with the plus sign, so 2x square plus 1 plus 2x and plus 1 over, over 2. This is equal to 2x square plus 2x and plus 2 over 2. We can easily cancel uh, all of these uh, coefficients by 2, and as a result, we have x square plus x and plus 1. This is our t first. Right now, let's write our t second. So t second equal to, we have right here 2x square uh, with the negative sign. So we have right here 2x square plus 1 and minus 2x and minus 1 and all over all over right here we have 2. Let's simplify this, we can easily cancel this, x 2x square minus 2x we have, and 2x square minus 2x, and all over, all over 2. We can easily cancel this expression, and as a result we have x square minus x. But in the beginning we had a substitution, we had a substitution that t is equal to 3. So we will have like two cases, the first one, this equation equal to 3, and this equation is also equal to 3. So right now let's solve our final part, let's solve this question in terms of x, and then we will find our x. So let's go back to our substitution and let's, let's solve this two quadratic equation. Let's do this right now. Okay, so from the previous step we solved this question in terms of t, and right now let's go back to our substitution, t equal to 3. So we have to quadratic equation. Let's start, for example, with the equation on the left side. So we have right here x square plus x, and right here when we subtract uh, 1 minus 3, we have minus 2. So minus 2 is equal to 0, and we can easily bring this 3 on the on the right side, on the on this uh, second equation. So we have x square minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. Right now let's solve, for example, this first equation on the, on the left side. How can we solve it? Of course, with discriminant, classic school method, so d equal to, we have b square minus 4ac, b square minus 4ac, which is equal to b square, we have 1 square minus 4 times 1 and times minus 2. So as a result, we're considering as 1 minus, with this minus we have plus, 1 plus 8, which is equal to, which is equal to 9. So right now let's solve this, let's solve this, uh, let's find our x first and second. So we have x first and second equal to, right here what do we have? We have minus b plus minus, well, minus b plus minus square root of d and all over, all over to a. So we are talking about x first and second, which is equal to, we have minus b, we have minus 1, plus minus square root of discriminant, square root of 9, and all over 2 times times 1. So we will have like two roots right here, x first and second 
equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of 9 equal to 3 and all over all over 2 so from here x first is equal to x first is equal to 1 with the with the with the positive sign and x second is equal to is equal to minus 2 but don't be happy about these roots we will check it a little bit later because don't forget about these two inequalities when we wrote these inequalities in the beginning so we will check this root in these inequalities but first of all let's find our second pairs of roots because we're talking about x first and second and right here because of this quadratic equation we will have x third and fourth so let's do this right now so our discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac b square minus 4ac which is equal to we have minus 1 to the second power minus 1 square minus 4 times uh, 1 and times minus 3 okay minus 3 from here what do we have our discriminant is equal to 1 plus we have right here 12 plus 12 equal to equal to 13 so we are talking about x third and fourth which is equal to minus b plus minus square root of d so we are talking about right here we have 1 plus minus square root of 13 and all over Two. We're talking about x third with the positive sign and x fourth with the with the negative sign. So right now let's let's try to check. Uh, first of all, I'm going to write these inequalities right here. So I want you to see this. So x plus three is greater or equal than zero, and x square minus three is greater or equal than zero as well. So right now let's check of the, all of these roots in terms of these two inequalities that we had in the in the beginning. Okay. So right now let's write our, our let's underline it. So we have x first equal to one x second is equal to minus 2 x third is equal to we have right here let's go for example with the positive sign 1 plus square root of 13 and all over 2 and we have x fourth 1 minus square root of 13 and all over all over 2 we have four roots and the main thing because a lot of students forget about it they say okay four roots uh, with all this question but we are talking about square root so don't forget about uh, in the beginning we had a square root so we need to consider these two these two inequalities and we have two rules right here if you look closely the first thing when we check one 1 plus 3 equal to 4, 4 is greater or equal than 0, everything is great. But when we plug in this in the second inequality, 1 square equal to 1, 1 minus 3 is negative. So we are talking about x first is not good for us. So we reject it, reject it at our x first equal to 1. Let's check x second equal to 2. We're talking about minus 2 plus 3 equal to 1, everything is great. And we are talking about we are talking about a second. We have 4 minus 3 equal to 0. So our x second is a great root for us. Let's check the last one. We have right here two complicated solutions in terms of like uh, this is a simple solution, one and two integers, yeah. And we are talking about our um, our um, solution with square root sign, but doesn't matter, I check it for you. This one is great for this inequality, and this one we we reject it okay we reject it you can also check it by yourself if you don't trust me but i hope you understand it so we two two of these roots we reject and two roots is is great for us we can easily check real quick this minus two okay let's check it because this one is complicated we don't need to check it and let's check for example this minus two so our check let's check it let's see what will happen so check x so x second equal to minus two in the beginning we have x square minus three equal to square root of x plus 3. Let's check x second equal to minus 2. So we have minus 2 square minus 3 equal to square root of minus 2 plus 1. We have right here 4 minus 3 on the left side and equal to square root of 1, which is absolutely, absolutely correct. So we are talking about a correct root. When we plug in 1, we don't need it because we are right here. We will have a looks like negative value on the left side, which is not good for our inequality. So as you can see, it looks like very easy question for, for kids because, uh, yeah, we just squared both sides. But as you can see, a long and complicated solution, we rejected two of these roots, which is which is really great. So right now we can easily see a plot, you can see a graph, you can easily see these points of intersection, which tells us that we solve this question absolutely correct so let's write our final answer to this question let's write our um, our final answer to this question so our answer our answer x first is equal to x first equal to minus two and we have right here x second is equal to let's divide it by two so we have one half plus square root of 13 square root of 13 over square root of 13 over over two 
and this are two solutions, x first and x second. So we hope you understand it, I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, if you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, I have a lot of content, so we hope you enjoy it. You can also write your question down into the comment section, let's exchange information, let's see uh, how many uh, of you like uh, write a correct solution, how many uh, people make this common mistake, may uh, solve this question absolutely incorrect, so it's really great to exchange information and to exchange and to learn something new. Thank you for your time, see you in the next videos and have a great day.